Hey, in this screencast, I'm going to explain the difference between auto fit and auto fill. So here we have two different grids using one or the other. You can see them on the page here. And I'm assuming that you understand the basics of this complicated expression here, where we're basically repeating with auto fit as many columns as we can fit into the grid, given these constraints here. They should be minimum 100 pixels and maximum one fraction unit. And that, as you probably remember from the screen cost in the second section, will give a nice responsive behavior where the amount of columns grows with the size of the grid. Like this, if we enlarge in this page, boom, there the grid crossed the 300 pixel threshold, meaning it could fit three columns in instead of two. And as we make it more wide, the columns become one fraction unit until it reaches the next threshold, which is 400 pixels and boom, then auto fit and auto fill adds another column to the grid since we now can fit 400 pixel columns into the grid. However, there's a slight difference between the two and that'll be apparent if we try to enlarge the grid even more like this. Now what you can see is that auto fill actually added a fifth column, even though we don't have a fifth element to add there. Whereas auto fit made sure that the four items we have actually fit the grid. Now under the hood, What's happening here is actually that both of them add new column tracks, though auto fit actually collapses those new columns to zero pixels in width so that the current items you have in the grid when defined like this with a maximum size of one fraction unit actually will fit to the grid regardless. Whereas auto fill at every 100 threshold like there and there and there, it'll add new column tracks, which basically are empty. So that was the difference between auto fit and auto fill.